Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. I missed you so much and I miss YouTube and creating content around here. I have been posting more shorts but it's not the same. I'll explain better what has been going on around here lately towards the end of the video. Now I'm gonna share the schedule of what we are gonna be doing for the day today. This is Friday and it's mid-March. Uh, today is our second year anniversary of moving to this apartment, this beautiful home uh, that we got to create together. And I love so much <laughs> to decorate for all the seasons of the year. So today we are going to be decorating for spring. I'm going to pull everything that is heart-shaped, Valentine's, pink. No, I'm still going to keep the pink because... That's a non-negotiable, <laughs> but we are going to be changing, add pops of color, add more flowers, add more yellows, blues, greens, and we are dressed accordingly. I put some beautiful butterflies all over my hair and some little flowers as well. And I have my flower jewelry on, flower nails, <laughs> everything flowery. So today, uh, that's the theme. And later on, I also want to be baking a beautiful cake to celebrate those beautiful two years in this apartment. Seriously, this place is a blessing. I know it's not big. Uh, it's, it's a rental and it's quite small. It's a two bedroom apartment, which is more than enough for the both of us, but it is such a blessing. It's so peaceful. March, April and May are the most beautiful months in regards to sunlight. So I have been postponing this video actually for a little while because for the past 10 days has been so gray and dark outside that I it hasn't been feeling like spring and I really wanted some sun so I could just pass down a spring feeling to that side and so I could feel it myself as well. But Today, it has been the best day since... Let's get going. Let's decorate this apartment. I'm going to show you some elements that I've got for spring already. And I'm going to leave the links for everything in the description down below. So if you have any doubts, just go there and check. Come with me. Let's decorate this apartment for spring. <laughs> one i'm not ready to get rid of it yet because i think this is a every season pillow i got it at zara at christmas time and i just think it is so beautiful i was thinking in leaving that flower there but i definitely prefer the heart shaped one for all in this i stand alone Show me where the ending goes Honest, honestly don't I should be the last to know We're all in this, I stand alone Show me where the ending goes Honest, honestly don't I should be the last to know Okay, so here's what we are working with. We ordered this beautiful pot container <laughs> from H&M. They have this little one and the bigger one. I, th I thought it was really nice with this dotted 
prints and it's all in glass and it kind of looks like a mushroom a bit i absolutely love it so we are going to keep that out we are keeping the same flower plates that we had on valentine's um this one also was a new order from h&m i ordered this beautiful flower plate as well the biggest the bigger one was out of stock but as soon as it is in stock i am gonna get it to have like the full set as well as these egg cups which i might use as a espresso cup and then some flower glasses that i want to put out i want to put pinks and blues and all of that this gorgeous mug is from flying tiger spring collection and it goes really well with these plates that's also from flying tiger and these two as well what else have we got oh i pulled this one out and i'm gonna explain to you what i'm gonna do with it i was actually experimenting already <laughs> I got these last year at Primark. They're supposed to be place card holders, but um, I just thought, you know, in using them for something else. So I placed a bit of tape here and that's the coffee. And I think we can glue it there and we can place it right there on the coffee corner. And every time you take the lid off, nothing falls off. I think it's pretty nice. So, we are keeping this for Easter. Then we have this one here. I always like to keep um, some sort of a cup with some matches on because I light up the candles every evening and I think it's very practical. This one was to be a candle uh, and I repurposed it and put some matches on it. And normally what I do, like I did with a bunny, I stick this on the bottom. Actually, I need to replace this one because it's already looking a little bit scratched. And it lights up pretty. See? So I think that's such a good idea. And the pot is so cute, so it looks really pretty on the decor as well. And lastly, the other thing that I do, this lid used to be from an autumn candle from Sand and Fog. And they're actually like screwed on. Let me just, so you unscrew them like that. And I have that hole. So what I've done last year, and I'm doing the same this year, I literally put a nail on the bottom of the place card holder. And because it has that round bit on the bottom, you just click over like that, you pressure down. And it's a bit wobbly, but like it works. So it does not come out. And now we have like a bunny. We also have got this cake stand kind of so this was also an improvised diy item again this used to be a candle and this was just like a normal plate and what i've done was i literally glued it i think you can see still see some of the glue there and it's very petite but it is so cute it's an improvised cake stand and normally during this time, I keep it there with some oranges or some lemons. I just thought it was such a cute, fun DIY. Obviously, this cannot go in the dishwasher. I think in time, this might come off with the washes, but as I use it mainly as a display item, you know, so I think the glue lasts pretty a pretty long time. Last DIY for you guys. <laughs> That just looks adorable.
these beautiful eggs that I normally use on Easter. I got them from different places. So we have these pretty glass ones. Look how gorgeous they are. Oops, oh my goodness. Let's take them all out of the bag. So all the glass ones are from Tiger last year. I just love the tones. Um, I think these ones are from Tiger as well. I'm not 100% sure, but I do know that um, H&M has some similar ones. So we are popping those there. They're actually really pretty to paint and DIY. Maybe we'll DIY these ones later on. And at last we have these fuzzy ones. I have them in multiple colors. I have another one of this beigey color, a yellow. All of these are little stars. I think that's pretty much it. I think they will look so cute like hanged on those branches. So let's go ahead and do that. I remember the days All those years ago that never fade away And I remember your face When you hit the ground I can recall the time and place On the midnight walk Through the old streets Trying to turn back the clock Now, whilst the cake is in the oven, we are gonna make chantilly, which translated whipped cream. Um, I bring this from home. It's like um, whipped cream powder. And normally we mix this with milk and it just, it's absolutely scrumptious and delicious and the texture is perfect. Obviously, we still need to let the cake cool down 
but I'll go ahead and make this and then I'll put it in the fridge and then I'll just decorate the cake. Oh my God, it's raining. It's seriously raining so bad right now. Yeah, I think we can say goodbye to the sunlight today. I just wanted to do a quick update. I have been MIA. <laughs> I mean, on YouTube at least, not, not on the other socials. Um, I have been investing a lot more time in creating short-term content because I feel like at the moment that is bringing me a lot more growth. And I think it's wise to do that just because I can bring those people onto our channel so I can turn this into a full-time job because obviously at the moment I still work um, and that's why I, I didn't post a long-term video in a, a little while. This is my favorite type of content, watching long-term videos, but they actually do take a little while longer to edit and record as well which i absolutely love but unfortunately it's not my reality just yet so i just wanted to update you on that and i want to say like thank you so much for sticking around for being patient and i'm just working on logistics and also i have been on youtube for have been on YouTube not even six months so I am definitely still learning a lot this is all new to me and I am just really happy to be here I'm happy to record long long-term content again we will keep trying our best you will see me around here for a very long time because I am here to stay but, but yeah, I just wanted to update you on that. I'm very looking forward for springtime and all those really nice evening walks and picnics and all those magical, beautiful things that we have planned. So exciting times coming. Let's soon decorate our cake and sing happy birthday to the house. It has been two years since we first moved in. Oh, look how beautiful the light is on the wall. Let's celebrate this homey home and cozy place that we built together. A big kiss and I'll see you on my next video. <laughs> Bye. <laughs>